It's time once again for the Real People Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament, and you, lucky viewers, are fortunate enough to be witness to a very important die roll. If you recall from last time, there's a big situation here, and who goes first is gonna really matter for the first time in this whole game. So this orange die is Sunny's die, and this black die is Betty Crocker's die. And I'm, I'm gonna roll Junior's die separate because uh, they're the same color. There's another orange and another black, and it doesn't really matter where he goes as much in this. So, let's focus in on this die roll. Think about it. This is key. And it looks like Betty Crocker's gonna get to go first. That's, that's a boon for the Betty. Betty Crocker's doing things. He sent, uh, he's kind of, he split up his battle fleet. He only has one thing, and there's two of them, in his battle fleet right now. Uh, put some units all over the place, and he started messing with this colony here. The colony is called Odyssey. I think there's, it's one of two Odysseys that are on the board. Um, destroyed the, the miner and the MS pipeline there. Tried to take a shot at the planet, but there was enough people defending it that it made it uh, too difficult. The role wasn't very good anyway. So, that was exciting for him. And now it's going to be Sonny's turn to kind of counter attack, so to speak, or try to deal with what's going on within his beautiful red boundary. All right, and Sonny brought his bringers of sorrow that were um, guarding this final warp point of the three. Betty Crocker has units in two of them, um, to his base in order to upgrade them with scanners. He's also sending his bringers of fear, which are full of... Um, destroyers with scanners already uh, up towards this colony to try and defend it. Um, he also initiated another... Oh, he sent a scout up here to check out this battle fleet. He doesn't feel like he's going to win, but he wants to do something. And he's also sent his dreadnoughts in forward. He thought about bring, uh, bringing the bringers of pain uh, here, but he decided it's better to keep it defensive in case um, the the uh, dreadnoughts lose this battle. Not that they probably will, but let's see. So this is a decoy, so there's actually nothing there. Um, but I guess this is revealed. And then this is a scout, and the battle fleet consists of mines. So the scout is destroyed at the cost of one of the mines, and the battle fleet is now a singular mine sitting here in space, and I guess we'll drop the ruse and put that mine right there. So, not a very costly exploration on Sonny's part, but it didn't really gain him much either. So, we'll, we'll continue. Betty Crocker's been shifting more forces around. He also revealed something that's going to change the um, strategic picture quite a bit, and that's warp point two. Warp point two goes from here, where his cruiser is sitting, to here, right behind Sonny's lines, right by his homeworld, actually, his relatively unprotected homeworld, if you can surmise anything by the counters there. Each homeworld starts with four shipyards, and you can see that there's one ship thing there, so you can assume that those are probably shipyards. Uh, that's that's not a good development for Sonny. There's another yet another place that he can be assaulted from. So Sonny has had to retreat his dreadnoughts from from its forward position at the warp point. Uh, Going to bring it back this way, though. Maybe he wants to actually bring it in here. Uh, I don't think so, though. He doesn't know what these ships are, but he is bringing the bringers of sorrow there. He feels like he's got to strike back some, even as he had to pull back the bringers of fear. Remember, they were those uh, that fleet of destroyers that have scanners. Bringers of sorrow are also, uh, they're very similar. They're pretty much identical now that they've been upgraded. So let's see what is here. We have a mine and a cruiser. So. Bringers of Sorrow are automatically going to lose one unit thanks to the mine, but then we're going to have a combat between the carrier and the Bringers of Sorrow. I'm, I'm sorry I said carrier, it's actually a cruiser. It says CA. I, I don't know how that means cruiser. I don't understand that. Um, but the cruiser does get to attack first, and let's see, the 
These guys have a defense of one, so it needs to get a three or better. I think the cruiser's probably in big trouble. Oh, it does. It did get to kill one of them. Pew, so they have only two now. Two bringers of sorrow. Let's see if they can bring any sadness unto Betty Crocker. And the cruiser has a defense of two, I believe. Yes, because he found that defensive technology. And so they have to get two or better. And by better, I mean less. They failed. And they failed. Now, Betty Crocker has a decision. He could retreat that cruiser from there to cause more trouble, or he could just continue prosecuting the fight. Oh, actually, that three should have worked because they have a fleet bonus, so never mind. He's dead. Um, I forgot. So they actually have five minus two, so they need three or better. All right, so that's it. We shall see if they got any sort of um, experience from that. Um, Kind of a costly victory for the Bringers of Sorrow. They lost a lot of good friends, um, but I guess maybe the sorrow they bring is unto themselves. Let us give thanks to Wolf Corbett, for he has dispelled the mystery of the CA. Uh, the C stands for cruiser, as you might think, and the A stands for armored. And apparently it's from boats that this came. I don't know why it's from boats. These aren't boats, they're spaceships. I guess ships or boats, but they're in space. Why can't they come up with their own names for things that make more sense? More progressive names like, uh, or initials like CR could be cruiser. If it's the future and we've, we've, we've got all this great technology, why can't we retool our language so that it makes sense to the layperson such as myself? Let's check in with our doomsday machine. It's moved. It's been moving. On st it kind of came down here and now it's been moving across this way. It's actually closer to the other alien planet now than the former one. So depending on where it goes, it seems like Junior could just colonize this planet, get some alien technology, and then maybe the doomsday machine would even take out these aliens. And by then, Junior could have his fighter um, fleet ready to take out the doomsday machine itself and then be able to kind of develop with impunity um, all this area here because there's very likely more planets and definitely more minerals. Uh, Junior does like to get minerals. Hey, Betty Crocker's revealed even more planets up here. He just needs to get them colonized, uh, kind of split in his efforts prosecuting here. And he's starting to get closer to Junior too. You see Ju Junior's come this far uh, with a mining ship, <laughs> no less to grab some precious resources. Um, he also sent a, a raider here to bombard this place, and I guess he has to reveal that. Uh, it wasn't successful, but he did get rid of the MS pipeline there, so that's gonna cut off three bucks from, from Sonny, and Sonny's also not gonna be able to uh, pull from this colony uh, so long as that raider is there. Um, he does have the bringers of fear, which can come back at it. Uh, he also sent, did some more maneuvering, sent a, f a fleet of raiders off of the frontier fleet through this warp point here, and he's at, uh, the bringers of sorrow are once again in battle. Um, there's two of them, four of these fellows. So what we're looking at here is the bringers of sorrow have a defensive advantage because um, these people are essentially hull zero, so they can't have any defensive advantage. But they have an attack advantage because they have um, twice as many ships as, as the Bringers of Sorrow. And also they have a tactical advantage, so they get to fire first. So they need to get three or less. That's eight, five, six, three. So they got one of them. Bing! And then the Bringers of Sorrow, the Bringer of Sorrow, gets to fire once. And it needs to have, oh, it should have been four or less, sorry. Um, needs to have four or less as well. Kind of ends up being a wash. Nope. All right, we're going to do another round, and I guess the Betty Crocker's destroyers will just straight up shoot. And again, they need four or less. 
Oh, last shot. Now that's eight. So the bringers of sorrow could either retreat, which is probably what they want to do, um, or they could use their celestial charge, which would give them let them attack twice, which is not that exciting right now. Um, so they'll retreat into, I think, here. Yeah, or they could also go here. No, the Bringers of Fear have that covered. So the Bringer of Sorrow is going to retreat here, and Betty Crackers Destroyers have secured that warp point. There we go. Because now there's these mines, Sonny didn't feel like he could do any other combats this round. So he just did a little bit of shifting, hoping to research minesweepers. He's kind of got a lot to deal with, though. He needs to keep his scanning capability up because there's raiders out here. He also needs to be able to be like a military force if they are to attack. And there's lots of ships out there, and he doesn't know what they all are. He's seen, he's seen that there are... Uh, armored cruisers and he's also seen mines and he's seen raiders but and decoys so he really doesn't know what to kind of prepare for um, and being on this much on the defensive is difficult especially since his production capability is getting hit and um, not by a lot but he's losing the the points he gets off of MS pipelines um, his production capability is getting hit and he's got, you know, he's got to keep building ships so that he can counterattack. He's been losing a lot of things. It's been, it's been hard on him. Uh, Betty Crocker, on the other hand, is going to have to juggle as well. Only Junior kind of has the, the comfort of being able to just kind of deal with his own stuff. Though he'd kind of like to infringe on this, this position some, somewhat. So let's roll for our doomsday machine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or ten. We'll re-roll. Nine. Nine, three, one, two, two. Ooh, so that is going to put it within two of these alien ships. So we're we're going to the economic phase sequence. But after a round of uh, of turns, after that, the Doomsday is going to face these aliens, and then Junior might be able to pick off whoever's left with his uh, raiders by then, or I mean his fighters. Sorry. Well, we have an exciting round of turns in front of us. I just finished the economic phase sequence, and everyone has something that they're going to be doing that's interesting in different ways. So Sonny finally has a, a fleet together that he feels is capable for a counter-strike. He's going to be taking it back to Betty Crocker, who has got things going on all over the place, which is fun for him. He's got lots of colonization he's going to do. He's going to be continuing his prosecution against Sonny, so it'll be interesting to see how that comes. And then Junior finally got his Fighter 2 technology, and it's going to be building up his things. Doomsday Machine versus Aliens is happening, and then Junior's going to sweep in and brush away whatever pieces are left, um, theoretically. That's what that's the plan, anyway. So we'll see. Um, I'm really excited. Let's. I'm just going to pick up the camera now without even cutting, and we're going to roll for turns, and we'll start with Junior. We're just going to roll this black die for everyone. Two, Sunny, that doesn't count. This will be Sunny's. Seven, and then Betty Crocker. Ten. So Betty Crocker gets to go first. More luck is smiling upon him than everyone else, I think, in this game, but we'll see. All right, so round of turns. We are on turn 11, I guess. Yeah. And the soul bringer of sorrow may be uh, in for his last bout of weeping as three destroyers have come to fight him alone. Um, the other destroyer from this fleet of four that had been here broke off here to uh, get rid of an MS pipeline that was there. All right, so Petty Crocker gets to fire three times, and it's five minus one is four, four or less. That's a 10, a two. So goodbye, bringer of sorrow. There will be no more tears. The bringers of pain have moved from this outward colony. I could dig up its name, the other Polaris. And they've discovered three mines. Now let's see how many minesweepers they have, because Sonny did get some. He only has two. 
So one of the mines is going to be able to destroy another unit. I guess I'll just turn all these up because they're revealed now. B, 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 C, D, D, and yeah, B, 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 C. So it's probably going to be a B, B. It could be a D, D in order to get rid of some of the scanning potential, but that's not going to be enough to really matter. So a B, C gets destroyed. The rest of these mines got swept up and one exploded. Alright, alright, all right. it's time for the Doomsday Machine versus the Aliens. Uh, I want to make a quick note. When I was looking at the Doomsday Machine stats, I noted that it is immune to fighters via the rules, but I'm going to ignore that because eh, I'm always of the opinion that if you're kind of a, of the assumption of something, especially when I'm running three people, and really this is a game that's probably best played um, solitaire or with others, I mean, uh, so that you're just playing one side because there's a lot of bookkeeping, there's a lot of secret knowledge and stuff like that. Um, you would look up those things and you would know it. And I'm, I'm playing much sloppier, doing all three in this scattershot manner than I would otherwise. And I don't think it's going to be a, a complete change of the game. Um, the Doomsday Machine is also really, already really weird because of the randomized setup. And I'm fine with bending the rules. So, alien ship here is going to attack first. It's six against two, so four or better to damage the Doomsday Machine. And that's going to be one damage on the Doomsday Machine. I mean, the best outcome here for Junior is the damage, the alien ships get, uh, some of them get destroyed, but, um, the Doomsday Machine gets destroyed so that there's like one alien ship left, maybe. Um, alien ships, three of them. Five minus two, they need three or better. No dice. The Doomsday Machine gets two attacks. He's going to attack the strongest one first. And it's at nine minus two, seven or better. Miss and destroyed. So now it's going to be another round, and we're at three, or better. Nope. Yep. That's two damage on the Doomsday Machine. Oh my gosh, one more, and it's gone. Nope. Doomsday Machine gets two attacks, seven or better. One's gone. Two are gone. This is it, alien ship. Pretty much got to get this one. Three or better, 30% chance of a better life for Junior. Nope. And the Doomsday Machine's gonna attack back. And that's it. So unfortunately this damage gets healed. I'm really tempted to leave it, but I'm not going to. We're gonna let the Doomsday Machine be right here. It's cleared out the aliens. Now it's gonna be up to Junior next turn to see if he can take out the Doomsday Machine. It is quite possible Betty Crocker is overreached. He has sent in his battle fleet, which consists of 10 destroyers, to take on the entirety of the Bringers of Pain, which is no small force. It's not the strongest force, but he's kind of changed tactics. He's going for a full frontal assault rather than the guerrilla stuff, which is, I don't know if it's the best idea, but we'll see how it turns out. Um, he's blockaded two of of Sonny's colonies up here so he you know he could do well just to wait but he's going right in so we're gonna roll this out and I know how much you love to watch me roll dice so first this BB which is uh, what is a BB it's a pretty good one it's probably a battleship yeah it's a it's a battleship and, so, and maybe Wolf could tell me why it's a BB instead of a BS um, but it's going to attack the DD. It's got to get five or better. And it's killed one of them. Troop. Now the BC, which is Battle Cruiser, gets to attack twice because there's two of them. And they miss. And they miss. Now the all the destroyers, all nine of them, get to attack. And they're going to attack these um, sweepers, I think, first. Well. It's a tough call. It'd be nice to get rid of the sweepers. Yeah, 
Yeah, the BB is kind of hard to destroy. The BC, well, if they get rid of the sweepers, then they'll be able to um, have a fleet bonus on the subsequent rounds. So I think they will go for the sweepers first. They just have to get four or better. They don't get a fleet bonus because they're not quite twice as much, but if they get rid of both sweepers, then they will be, um, assuming the DD doesn't attack them. All right, so that's going to be nothing. Four or better is the, oh no, three or better. Nope. That's two out of eight, or out of nine. No, nope. yeah, two out of nine. Okay. Three out of nine. Four out of nine. That's one. Five out of nine. Six out of nine. And that's both of them. Seven out of nine. So now they have two more shots. Um... They could go for the DD or the BC. I don't think they want to mess with the B. Yeah, I think they're going to go for the DD just to... Okay, so they have two more rolls, and they still need three or better. Nope, and... Nope. Okay, so now the DDs get to attack. They need four or better. Nope, and... Nope. All right, now I think it's time for Sunny to use his charge ability. So all his units are going to get two attacks, but then um, Betty Cracker's uh, forces are going to get plus one due to their attack for the rest of, I think, the fight. Okay, so BB needs five or better, I do believe. Yeah. And that's going to get rid of one. That's going to miss BC. So I'm going to roll four BC rolls. And that's one. They no longer have their bonus, I don't think. Miss. That's another one. And that's another one. So that's three there. And then, he, so now Betty Cracker could just decide to retreat. And I think that might be wise. So if he were to attack, he could get rid of some more units. The thing is, is if he loses this fight and all his units are gone, uh, Sonny has a clear shot in the next two turns to get to this colony here. Whereas if he retreats, he can go here, and then that's going to slow him down. Well, not really. It wouldn't really slow him down, would it? Eh, I think he'll just fight it out. Yeah, I guess so. Since he has the opportunity to attack, he's going to go for the DD five or better. No, four or better. Five shots. One, two, three. <laughs> oh, Betty Crocker. Oh, four. You have the whole world, but your hubris. Five. That's a miss, so um, DDs get to attack four times. I know you love dice rolling. I'm so glad. Nope. Nope. And I don't know what that was. One. Okay. All right. So let's look at this card again. Does the two attack thing only happen? It's that round only. Okay. So Sonny's back at one attack per person. And he could decide to retreat now. But he's already got him down to four. He's really enjoying hitting back, so I think he's going to keep going. Uh, five or better. Nope. Five or better. Yep. Five or better. Yep. And then, does Betty Crocker want to retreat? Nope, I think he's going to keep going. And he's going to go for the, BB, the DDs again. Roll twice. Nope. Nope. DDs fight back. Nope. Nope. BB. Nope. BC. Nope. BC. Yep. 
One lone destroyer. Does he want to retreat or attack? Dang. I think he better attack. He's not going to get a better advantage than this. So, not a necessarily an advantage, but um, he's lost the fleet bonus. They have it now. I hope I didn't mess up a roll earlier, but that's okay. He missed. All right. So they get five or better. And Betty Cracker's forces were decimated. He took out the minesweepers, though, so that's something. It's time for Junior's big fight against the Doomsday Machine. Now, I probably should have thought about this more. I don't think this is going to be too tough for him. I mean, because since he's fearless, all of his people are going to get to attack before the Doomsday Machine. And the fighters, they have an attack of seven. So they just need to get five or better. There's nine of them. I can see why they make the Doomsday Machine immune to fighters normally. There's nine of them. They need to get five or better. Chances are this Doomsday Machine is going to be out before much else happens. Attack strength is seven. The Doomsday Machine's defense is nine. It's one hit. Not a hit. Not a hit. Two hits. Oh, I didn't even count that. That was maybe four rolls. Okay, Doomsday Machine's gone. And I think we'll go ahead and roll for the experience right now. Um, so they're gonna, they destroyed something of a hull of three, so they get, need to get a six or better, but they get a minus two to that, so we'll say eight or better. Minus one because they have Military Academy two, and another minus one since its hull size was bigger than the fighter's hull size. <laughs> so I got a 10. They're, um, despite the odds, they do not become experienced by destroying the Doomsday Machine, which I think makes sense. It was pretty easy for them. And so our 11th round of action turns ends with the Bringers of Pain going back to the colony instead of going forward. Uh, Sonny figured if he went forward, that would give um, Betty Crocker some time to rebuild some forces and come back and counterattack and get rid of some valuable ships. And he doesn't have any minesweepers anymore, so he decided to go back. Um, the destroyers are, have taken, taken out some chunks on Sonny's territories. Um, Sonny's getting hit economically. That's going to make it harder for him to recoup. But he has some more focus now. He has the technology he needs, and he's, he's buttressed some of his colonies with bases. So he can put more money into um, the little money that he does have into um, counterattacking. Uh, colonies are being built in this wing here, uh, but Junior has moved Logos, which is his group with all the fighters that just uh, fresh off their success against the Doom's Doom. I, I forgot what it's called. Doom. Doomsday Machine. I wanted to say Doom Star. We'll call it the Doom Star. Uh, fresh off off their success against the Doom Star going forward. He's also successfully researched Terraforming 2, I believe. No, he's almost there. He's four away. So he'll have Terraforming 2 be able to start rebuilding, um, or not rebuilding, but building a lot more money. Terraforming 2 lets his miners go to these nebula and just harvest five every turn from them. Uh, so that's going to be ra really good for him. Once he has that going, there's a lot of nebula over here. Everyone over here is distracted. Um, so that's going to make for an interesting situation. Uh, Betty Crocker is going to need to put Sonny away fast if he wants to be prepared to deal with the what Junior has coming. Uh, he has more colonies, but if you know with the nebula that Junior is going to start being able to harvest, Junior is going to have a, a lot more production capability. Maybe about the same as Betty Crocker. We'll see you next time on the Real People Multi Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. Baralty Leg 5, Space Empires 4X.